March 6, 2021, and uh, we're in North Dakota. And uh, as you can see out this window, for March 6, there's not much snow up here. And uh, we're going to take advantage today and go do a little bit of shed hunting. Um, Nick's down in Arizona still working on his golf game. So I'm kind of up here up north just hanging out, waiting until he gets back so he can go up to the hills and do some shed hunting. So I'm down on the prairie. Uh, I'm going to walk this... Uh, Piece where I've been seeing quite a few deer. I um, was here a couple weeks ago and saw that there's still some bucks that had their antlers on them so we might not find anything today but um, we'll give it a look. Uh, there's a corn cut corn field that they've been going out to feed on and um, there's like an old abandoned yard here that they've been bedding in so should be a good spot. Um, you know you want to find those transition areas where they're going from bed to feed uh, and then really check the bedding area as well so um, Hopefully we can find a couple today and kick off the 2021 shed season. All right, we got shed number one on the day and uh, I'm in that tree clump, a bedding area um, that I've been just kind of combing over. It took me a little bit to find this one. I actually thought I saw one farther down so I got my binoculars out to look at it and I put them down and here it is right in front of me. Uh, I eventually probably would have saw it but it kind of blends in pretty good, still pretty dark. Hasn't probably been there very long. Um, zoom in on it here. Looks like a little, pretty good one. Got a little kicker off uh, the G2, but pretty short tined. But definitely a good start. Hopefully, we can find the other one too. He kind of broke off his uh, main beam here. You can see. Kind of a cool buck though. Looks like he's going to have some character. This one looks like it's been there for a little bit. It's already got some wear and tear from, I don't know, water, probably. But, got a pretty good base on them. Good start, hopefully we can find some more. Just wanna point one thing out. Um, this being my first time out shed hunting this year. Uh, I don't know if Nick is the same way or not, but I always want to just go, go, go. But really when you're shed hunting, you should take your time and make sure you're combing through everything you know check little spots if you can get up on a like a little higher vantage point so you can look down on some stuff that always helps um, but yeah I know uh, you're excited to get out there and find some antlers but you'll tend to miss some if you go too fast um, just not taking your time or you'll have to go back and rewalk some stuff just because you you felt like you went too fast after the fact so just a little tip and trick uh, when you're shed hunting um, go slow and make sure you're looking over everything. Well, found our second shed of the day. Um, as you can see, I'm outside of the yard now and uh, walking out in the CRP just on a main trail, going to uh, another place where it looks like they like to bed down or a lot of trails come from anyway. So uh, on my way there and I happened to uh, come across this little guy. Um, not very big. Looks like it maybe even could be a year old, but probably just here for a while. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. Anyway, it's a shed. Gotta add it to the list. We got shed number three. Uh, another pretty small one. Um, I was just walking out along the north side of uh, these willows here. Um, more of a transition area rather than a bedding area just because it is on the north side, but there's a, I was just in that group of trees and quite a few trails just kind of coming back into these willows, uh, I'm guessing to go out to feed. So I was walking the north side here and uh, came up on this pretty small one, little three point antler. Looks like it's this year, maybe an early dropper though. Either that or last year's. Tough to tell. Looks like it's been sunbanked pretty good, but not too chewed up on. But another shed, can't complain. I think I just found antler number four right there. I was actually walking back um, kind of towards the big tree clump that I started in and uh, just happened to look left and saw it sitting here. So. Let's see, definitely an antler. 
Get a little th three point. Oh, bro, time. Kind of looking around to see if the other one's here, but it doesn't look like it. Not bad. Another antler. I, uh, I think I just found the other side to this one I just found. I was actually getting ready to just put it in my mystery ranch pack here and uh, look to my left. Next to the other one, make sure it's a set. Definitely looks like it. It's a little guy, but first set of the year. Another shed, can't complain. I finally found a, my first deadhead of the year. Um, just a little guy, looks like it's maybe two years, a year old. Tough to tell when it's out in the open like this, they just get so bleached so quick. March 8th, 2021, uh, going out shed hunting again today up here in North Dakota. Um, didn't go yesterday because it was really windy, like gusts up to like in the 40s. So just figured, I looked at the forecast and saw that today was going to be a really nice day. I think it's like 55 with, um, I don't know, 15 mile an hour wind. So a lot better than yesterday anyway. So. Um, there's a piece of land that's not too far away from where we were the other day um, when I found a couple of those smaller ones or the one decent one right away but um, we're gonna walk around this a little bit Julius is finding sheds all over the place here I just found a pretty good four-point antler and now it looks like a little smaller four-point antler Better take a better look around here. Yeah. Maybe there'll be some more. Well, we just found our first shed of the day. Um, I had walked those tree rows over there, didn't find anything. Um, was heading kind of towards these uh, evergreen tree rows, but there's a good um, willow uh, spot here, full uh, slew full of willows, and um, kind of walked through the middle of it. Uh, coming along the north edge of it and uh, found this looks just like a two point so not very big but it's a shed and we're on the board for the day so we didn't get skunked can't complain just found our Second shed of the day here on March 9th. Um, walking in another uh, kind of willow patch. Um, got some good bedding area as you can see. Um, some tall grass, some, um, trees and stuff. So, pretty good bedding area. And looks like it's on a trail here that uh, exits out. Um, there's a shed right there. Well, almost a four point, but doesn't have a brow tine, so not a bad one. We'll uh, pick it up here and take a little closer look at it. Pretty young deer, obviously. Cool antler though. Another shed. Can't complain. All right, March 25th, 2021. This should be my fourth day out shed hunting of the year. And I got my cameraman back. Nick Let's Byron. go! <laughs> he literally just pulled into town from his trip back from Arizona about probably 12, 12.30. And uh, it's about, what is it, one o'clock now? One o'clock, exactly. And uh, we got our first shed. We're walking a spot that we hunt down here on the prairie. Um, looks like it's this year's, but it's probably been out in the sun for a while. It's pretty white and baked, so a little looks like a little four-point antler. But it's a shed, and we didn't get skunked today. 
the start of our shed hunting weekend, as we say. Yeah, five days. That's the first of this five day stretch. And you see, I, I couldn't let Nick find the first <laughs> shed coming back. You know, you, you gotta make them want and want. So I gotta make him a little jealous by finding the first one so he can find a couple now. I'm just kind of hoping he uh, throws that one out in front of me somewhere along here so I can get excited. Let's go see if we can find the other side. Just started uh, up the edge of this little um, tree row here and uh, found the, it looks like to be the other side of the one I found. Right there. Now? Right here. Okay. Nick's on his way over. He was on the other side of the yard looking, so. Oh. Looks like the other side. Look at that. I think? Oh yeah, I it's think so broken too. on this D2 here, so. Looks like it. Same color and stuff too. Huh. Got a set on the first day. Yeah, absolutely. Not a big one, but any set's a good set. Well, uh, Jalen had to go to baseball practice. He's coaching. And so I decided, you know what? I'm going to try to find uh, one for myself. But just to continue my trend from last year came across a fresh deadhead I was working we're on our stuff on the prairie that we hunt and just working uh, one of our bigger tree rows and uh, we didn't really bait too much or hunt down here too much this year just because uh, I was tagged out early and Jalen had football but it's too bad nice uh, Nice 4x4. Four four. Some solid potential there. Well, I uh, finally found my first shed of the 2021 season. I uh, went back out to where me and Jalen were walking earlier. And uh, I took the four wheeler all the way out here. Looks like the rain's coming in, but I finally found a shed. Looks like last year's, but yeah, I just walk in this shelter belt. Hey, 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 Nick's on the board. Let's go. Tomorrow, big day, we're going up to the uh, hills, what we call it, or the deer farm we call it. Uh, that's our main deer hunting land and hopefully get into some uh, elk and deer sheds up there. So I know it's kind of boring watching us walk around here just shelter belts and swamps, but I don't know. It's fun, but tomorrow's a big day. Hopefully uh, we'll find a lot of sheds. Going to be uh, five big days now. See if we can uh, get to that 50 number and find some uh, really unique, cool, and big sheds along the way.